stay Jim. God bless you. morning we are here in Newport Washington we're at the Little Diamond Thousand Trails campground and we've met up with our friends Robin and Troy we met them last year at the West Coast HDT rally we had a chance to boondock with them in Arizona over the winter both in Yuma and Quartzsite and um, they were up here getting some work done on their truck and wanted to know if we wanted to meet up after the rally so we have met up with them plan to have a lot of fun with them while we're here and then they're going to be traveling with us across Montana to South Dakota. Good morning. We're going out hiking today. I'm going out hiking today with, yep. with Robin. Yep. Bob is going with Troy out to one of their friends houses and they're going to work on his HDT. Mm -hmm. So fun day planned. All right, we're off. Labor. All right, we're getting ready to go hike. We're at the secret location, and we've already seen one bear. And yes, yes there is bear spray. Yes. <laughs> Armed. Yes, ready to go. <laughs> and it's a beautiful day for a hike. So like if that was a deer, you'd know it was a buck. Now that is a big hoof print. This is called Beaver Lake. It is 
totally worth the hike in. The catch is the trail's not on any maps, so you have to know a local to find out where the trail is. But it's definitely worth, worth the hike back in here. It is so pretty and so peaceful. Oh, we had a great hike today. That was beautiful. Got greeted when we got back with cold beer and hamburgers on the grill. That was awesome. And now we're doing Bubba's favorite thing and going to the rodeo. He doesn't like rodeos. No. But we're gonna go. It's just a local one. It's only supposed to be a couple of hours. And it's cooled down to about 95 degrees this evening. So we'll go see what's going on there. All right. Some people like bull riding, some people like team roping. Me? I'm just hoping they have some mutton busting. There's over 300 million people in this land. A land of laws that allows no one to become a tyrant and lets no one group prevail. This is a land forged by the hot steel of raw courage and always will be. What so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming. Uh -oh. Uh oh, too strong, too cold to hold, and way too hot to handle. Then the reserve, that means the number two in the world a couple of times. Austin Foss putting on a school tonight. Can't remember saying that. Ty Sherman, right here. Ty. Hey. Oh. On your mark. Get set, go! Hey, this, hey, this one over here in the black was cheap. Come on, go. Hey, hit that guy with a stick. Use your stack, hit him. A brown cowgirl. Well, there you go, deli up, turn it, dump it, boom, shakalaka, you got one. Flag comes down now. Let me tell you about this right here. It's Columbia, and that's where they spend the majority of their time. Right here, and that's what we call, that's what we call, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations, ladies. Nice job, everybody. Okay, West and Mike Phillips are back out. John Slick Shepard is trying to steer himself, and we'll talk more about that later on. Kate Cooper, Chantel Brown's got the high score of 52 points. The greatest captain was getting together and try and win saddles, buckets, scholarships, and more. Always working good. Get that little rope ready. String it up. Gather two more. Wrap them. One, two, three. A half inch, and you can do it faster than I can say. Electric. Now I'm going to give the cowgirls the first two cans out there, but when they come around, that McDonald's can number three, I need you guys to lose your mind. Hang on. Hang on. You can be as quiet as church mice right now if you want to. We're going to give you the first one to the left hand side. We're going to go to the right for one. One more right hand turn, and you know what to do. Good ground, and we like to try and keep it that way. All of these horses and the equine athletes are worth anywhere from twenty-five to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You put them in the back of the round pickup, you can be hauling about five hundred grand down the road. There you go. Duke Hanson, Winkler time. Yeah, Ace is wild. Ace is stepping all over you. Ace. Well, that was our stay in Newport, Washington. What a beautiful place. It is a very nice place. Um, the western part of that country is pretty. Now the place we stayed, it was a combination Thousand Trails and KOA, and it was huge. Um, KOA yeah. was a lot nicer pads too. They were bigger, yeah. 
um, and less crowded. Thousand Trails needs to step it up on that park, but it's a very beautiful park. It is. It is. And we had um, a very peaceful, very enjoyable stay. They have a beautiful lake you can walk around. Yeah. I even went out fishing. He did. Caught yeah. two fish. Yeah. They weren't nothing to speak of, but there was two fish. Hey. And if you fish at the lake there, you don't have to have a fishing license. They allow you to catch and keep two a day. Yeah. You can catch them or release them. You can catch and release as many as you want, but you can only keep two. And Newport, what a beautiful little town. Really neat little place to visit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool little town. So now we're heading on eastward. Yeah. Time to head towards Montana. Next stop, Glacier National Park. Yippee. You know, born and raised here in Montana, I've never been to Glacier. I came up around this area to uh, play basketball and football, but... Isn't uh, it funny how sometimes you have to leave your hometown <laughs> right. to come back and play tourist? Right. That's, that's weird. We do that in San Diego. I lived there 43 years, and now we go back to visit and do stuff that we never did when we lived there. It's yeah. kind of funny. Yep. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this glimpse of Newport, Washington. It's time for us to get on the road. Eastbound and down. And we'll catch you all next week.